Many people get fooled into thinking that the Qur'an contains statements that are so outlandish for the 7th century that there is no way anyone could have known such information at that time. Dawagandists make it seem like it is only in the modern era where these Qur'an verses begin to make sense. This delayed understanding of certain Qur'an verses is touted by Muslims as proof that the Qur'an is miraculous by containing such information. What Muslims will not tell you is that all you need to do is pick up a tafsir, or a commentary, and know a little bit of Arabic, and you'll come to realize just how nonsensical the miraculous claims really are. A lot of people get fooled because they don't have the wherewithal to obtain the relevant information in order to see the whole facade. To illustrate this, I will address a so-called miracle that was recently a topic of discussion brought up in our Discord server. I demonstrate just how easy it is to debunk so-called miracles in the Qur'an. The so-called miracle that was brought up was with regards to Surah 39, verse 6. Proponents of Qur'anic miracles would like you to believe that mention of three darknesses in which a fetus is formed is referring to the abdominal wall, the uterine wall, and the amniotic sac, information that supposedly would not have been knowable at the time of Muhammad, hence the miracle. For a detailed statement of the supposed miracle, see the article posted on this slide, which is at QuranMiracles.com. Surah 39, verse 6, quote, He created you from one soul, then he made from it its mate, and he produced for you from the grazing livestock eight mates. He creates you in the wombs of your mothers, creation after creation, within three darknesses. That is Allah, your Lord. To him belongs dominion. There is no deity except him, so how are you averted? End quote. Okay, so what is the Quran referring to when it talks about the fetus and three darknesses. Well, first let's begin with the commentary of Ibn Kathir. Quote, In three veils of darkness means in the darkness of the womb, the darkness of the placenta, which blankets and protects the child, and the darkness of the belly. This was the view of Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, Mujahid, Ikrimah, Abu Malik, Adahak, Qatada, Asudi, and Ibn Zaid. End quote. Now, if you know Arabic, then you know that the word used for darkness is also of the same root that means oppression. In other words, the womb, placenta, and belly encompassing the fetus makes the fetus experience a type of oppression because it is restricted, albeit a protective kind of restriction. So the word the Quran uses does double duty to accentuate this twofold meaning of the fetus being created in a dark environment in an oppressed state. That's not a miracle, folks. The exegesis of Surah 39 verse 6 was completely understandable at the time of Muhammad. There is no quote-unquote miracle happening in this verse. To claim the three darknesses are the abdominal wall, the uterine wall, and the amniotic sac that can only be discerned in the modern age is just absolute gibberish and is inventing a miracle where no miracle exists. Rather, it's called forcing a conclusion because one is inventing evidence to fit the desired result.